Hi, I'm Jennifer Malley from Good Foundations International, and I'm here to share with you how to make homemade soap. And you can make soap from um, different oils, such as coconut oil, shea butter, palm oil, and also using sodium hydroxide or lye to make your soap recipe. Um, a soap recipe is made from three basic ingredients or four if you're going to add a perfume or a colorant. So we're gonna use water, sodium hydroxide crystals, sometimes referred to as lye, and a locally sourced oil that you can purchase in your area. And like I mentioned earlier, you can add a colorant or a fragrance to your soap. Um, depending on the oils that you would like to make soap with, not every recipe is the same. Different oils require you to use different amounts of sodium hydroxide and water. So if you want to make a different recipe than the recipe I'm going to show you today and use a different oil or combinations of oil, feel free to contact me and I can help you um, get a recipe for, for the correct amounts of the ingredients to make a successful soap. So today I'm gonna show you how to make um, soap using just coconut oil. And um, so we'll proceed from there. So let's get started. We're going to discuss the materials and the equipment that you will need before you start to make soap. So I have here sodium hydroxide crystals. Today, I'm going to use coconut oil, but like I mentioned before, you can use a lot of different oils, especially the ones that you can find locally um, to make soap. So you need your oils. You're gonna need some clean water. I have here some essential oils that I'm gonna be using as fragrance for my soap. You're going to need a thermometer so that you can read your temperature in Celsius. You'll need access to a scale that can measure in grams. You'll also need a glass jar that can handle a little bit of heat. A stainless steel pot to melt your oils in. You'll also need some mix, a mixing bowl, maybe a spatula, something to, to um, beat the soap, mix the soap up well with. And I also suggest if you can get a pair of plastic or rubber gloves to protect your skin, because if you get the lye water or the sodium hydroxide on your skin, it can, it can feel like it's burning. So it's important to protect your arms and your hands. I'd like to discuss next what you can use as molds to pour your soap into. This mold is made out of a silicone rubber and so the, the soap won't stick to it. It comes right out of the mold when it's finished. You can also use wide mouth open plastic jars you can use a wooden box lined with a plastic bag. Whatever mold shape you use, you're gonna to have to make sure the soap won't stick to it. So it doesn't stick to plastic, it doesn't stick to the silicone, but if it's an, a material that absorbs anything, like wood, for instance, you probably will not be able to get the soap out of a wooden box unless it has a liner inside of it. Today, I'm going to use this silicone tray um, to form my soap in. 
So let's begin by measuring out the correct amount of the ingredients that we have. Our recipe that we're going to use today starts with a thousand grams of coconut oil. So this is refined coconut oil. And at the temperatures here where I live, coconut oil is um, solid in the jar. So I heated this up into a liquid and there it's gonna sit. So we have a thousand grams of coconut oil. And then we have here 191 grams. I've already weighed it out on the scale. There's 191 grams of the sodium hydroxide uh, crystal. So that's in this cup here. And I have 445 grams of clean water in this cup. So those are my three ingredients that I need right now. The, and I'm gonna set the oil aside because we're not going to need it for a little while. And we're gonna concentrate right now on making our, our lye water. What's gonna happen is when I add the lye and the water, or I'm gonna use the same word, the lye and sodium hydroxide are the same, means the same thing. So when I add the lye crystals and the water together in here, it's going to heat up through a chemical reaction. So the water right now is just room temperature. So I'm gonna pour this in first. And then I'm going to, I'm gonna get a spoon real quickly. Okay, and I'm going to add the lye crystals to the water and they're immediately, it's going to heat up. And you also don't want to get near this and breathe around in this space because it gives off a very toxic fume. So stay away from this while you're mixing. You also don't want to get this onto your skin. I can smell it, it's really strong. It's probably better to do this outside. So just to show you the temperature that this is going to, right now I'm reading 93.5 degrees Celsius. So this heated up quite quickly, so it's very hot. I'm actually going to lift it up and set it on a pad so it doesn't hurt the table. We need to now wait until this lye water mixture comes down to temperature. We need it around in the 30s, in the mid 30s. So I'm going to turn off the video camera and we're going to return when, I, when I'm around 36, 37 degrees or so, measuring that temperature um, with this lye water. So when this cools, we'll return and we'll continue from there. We are now ready to mix the lye and water solution and the oil together. The temperature of the oil or the, I'm sorry, the lye and water mixture is around 34 degrees Celsius. Actually, it's around 36 degrees Celsius.
And the oil is also at 36 degrees. So we wanna make sure that both of these are the same temperature and a little warmer than the room temperature around us before we mix them together. So I'm first going to take the oil and pour it into the bowl. And then I'm going to take the lye water, which be careful not to get any on your skin. All right, and I'm gonna to begin to stir these two ingredients, three ingredients actually together. And I'm gonna mix and mix until it becomes extremely thick. There is a word in soap making that's called saponification. And that is a chemical reaction that takes place between the lye water and the oil that actually turns it, it's when it turns into soap. And how you can tell that it's ready to be poured into the mold is after a lot of mixing, um, you'll see the whole, the whole mixture turn almost, in this case, it'll turn almost white and it'll begin, you'll begin to see when you mix, you'll begin to see the shapes that are made by the stirrer, the stirring tool in here. And it'll look extremely, it'll be extremely thick. What I'm gonna do is continue to mix and I will return when it starts to get close to when we pour it into the mold. So I've been stirring for a while, and as you can see, the surface holds the shape when I, when I stir. See how thick it is? This is the point where we, we could add our fragrances, and then we're, we're going to mix a little bit more. Sometimes when you add these essential oils, um, it changes how much it saponifies and you need to mix it a little bit more. Well, I'll come back again when this has re-thickened and it's ready to pour into the mold. So I've stirred it to the point now where it is ready to be put into the mold. See how thick it is? It holds the peaks when you stir, okay? So I'm gonna set this aside. What I've done is I've put my mold onto a towel and I've done this on purpose because we're gonna wrap it for 24 hours into, um, into a towel to keep the heat in. So let's get this poured into the mold. Try to get it flat 
everywhere. If you don't quite mix it to where it's this thick, it does level out a little bit better on its own. Try to get it leveled out here a bit. Okay. So now we have it. Now we have it nice and level. What I'm going to do is take some kind of a board or a covering and put it over the top to protect it from the towel. And then I'm going to wrap this in a towel like this for 24 hours so that the if heat stays inside and it um, makes the soap nice and firm. I'm gonna jump ahead here and show you another batch of soap that I made out of coconut oil yesterday. And I'm gonna, I opened it up after being in this towel for 24 hours and I'll show you the results. So as you can see, this one is nice and hard. It hasn't completely finished curing yet, but I could take this out of the mold and trim it up with a knife and cut it into bar soap. And once it's cut into your, into your bars and you can just use a, a nice sharp knife to do it, this soap isn't ready to be used for about four weeks. There's still a chemical reaction going on inside this soap and it continues for a couple of weeks. And also there's more water that evaporates out making this soap even harder. So it lasts longer when you use it. So that's um, the basics of how to make uh, soap using an oil, as in today, coconut oil and um, sodium hydroxide crystals. I'd be more than happy to help any group who's interested in making their own soap. I'll help, I'll help you formulate a recipe. I'll help you formulate quantities to fit into the molds you're using please feel free to contact me, Jennifer Malley, at Good Foundations International if you would like any assistance with soap making. Thank you.